So here is the frost-free silcock, and I am going to put a shark bite fitting on it. Now, the one end of the shark bite fitting is threaded, and I put some Teflon tape on the other end of the silcock. So I'm going to screw this on. I'm going to tighten it down by hand as much as I can. And I'm going to take uh, some channel locks and tighten this down maybe another one half turn. That's pretty easy to do. Now one big tip I want to share with you with the silcock is when you go to install it you want to make sure that it's tilted down by maybe about five degrees because you want the water to run down and out. You don't want it to stay within the silcock because otherwise air can get up in here and freeze this water and cause a lot of problems. So make sure that when you install this into your house, it's tilted down by maybe about five, six, seven, eight degrees. So that's one big tip that you should take into consideration. Okay, I made a second mark on this copper pipe here, right here where my fingertip is. And I'm going to shove that into the shark bite fitting until it's absolutely tight and flush with that mark. Okay, so once that's the case, I know that the shark bite fitting is nice and tight on there and it's not going to leak. So it's almost flush with this mark and I know that my shark bite fitting is on there. And all I need to do now is test and make sure that the, uh, all the fittings that I put together on this frost-free silcock are good to go. So that's how easy it is to work with shark bite fittings. One other thing I want to point out is that I put shims, I broke off some shims and I stuck them in the hole underneath the frost-free silcock because I want it to be angled up so that it actually points down about five degrees. I want the water to drain out of the silcock. I don't want it to rest in here on in between this wood plate and the brick. Otherwise, the water that is in there could get frozen by cold air that comes in through the faucet itself. So I want to angle this up as much as possible so that it points down and, allow, and allows the water to drain out of the faucet. So that's why I put these wood shims here.